What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 24 in the Math 1 questions that, questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us about two stores that have movies to rent. The first store charges a $12.50 per month membership fee plus $1.50 per movie rented. And the second store has no membership fee but charges $3.50 per movie rented. And we're supposed to figure out the minimum number of movies a person would need to rent in a month for the first store to be a better deal. Now I will say we have to read this question carefully and I'll also say that this must be a very old question because I don't think anyone who is in high school right now would have ever seen more than maybe one or two stores that have movies to rent unless you saw one in Captain Marvel when she crashed into the blockbuster. But anyway, this question is going to test us on translating word problem language to equation language and also how to deal with an equation with variables on both sides. So let's start with that translating piece. The information here is organized really nicely. We have the first store and the second store. So the first store charges a $12.50 per month membership fee plus $1.50 per movie rented. Now per, and then if I see per down here as well, that's one of the words along with the word each or the word every that tells me to multiply. So $1.50 per movie is gonna be $1.50 times the number of movies. $3.50 per movie is $3.50 times the number of movies. And I can also look at the actual question part and see that we're trying to find the minimum number of movies a person would need to rent in a month for the first store to be a better deal. And since we're trying to find the number of movies, I'm going to say that that is my variable. And I'll call it M. So now that I've read the problem and found some keywords, I can take the information and actually put it into equation language. So for the first store, I have a membership fee which doesn't depend on the number of movies. So that's just twelve and a half dollars plus a dollar fifty per movie. That's one and a half dollars per movie. And for the second store, they have no membership fee, but they do charge three fifty per movie. And I just realized I wrote X instead of M. My apologies. All right, so even though we're trying to figure out the minimum number of movies a person would need to rent in a month for the first store to be a better deal, I'm going to go ahead and set this up like an equation, but we will have to come back to this wording uh, because the first time I looked at this question, I almost tripped myself up and got it wrong because I didn't read it carefully. So let's actually go ahead and solve this equation. And we have a variable on both sides here, so I'm going to pull out the trick that I love to use whenever I see an equation with variables on both sides. and I call it Volnor. It stands for that we need our variables on the left and our numbers on the right. And that's supposed to be variables. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that. Um, and actually, I'll go ahead and get all my numbers on the right first. I'll remind myself that this is positive 12 and a half so I subtract 12 and a half minus 12 and a half minus 12 and a half. These two cancel, and I'm left with $1.50 per movie equals $3.50 per movie minus 12 and a half dollars. And now I want to get all my variables on the left side. And I'm kind of regretting writing it like this because now it's a little hard to squeeze this in. So 350 per movie minus 350 per movie, that all goes away. 150 per movie minus 350 per movie. I can use integer rules or my calculator or whatever to get minus 2m equals minus 12 and a half, or negative 2m equals negative 12 and a half, whichever way you want to say it. So now I see that. My variable is being multiplied by negative 2. I divide by negative 2 to get rid of it. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 goes away. Negative 12 and a half divided by negative 2 will get me a value of positive 6 and 25 hundredths for m. Now, can I rent 6 and 25 or 6 and 25 hundredths of a movie? No, I can't. No store has that policy. So, in order to figure out the minimum number of movies, it has to be the next whole number above 6 and 25 hundredths, which is 7. So even though my solution was 6 and 25 hundredths, my answer to the problem of the minimum number of movies a person would need to rent in a month for the first store to be a better deal is 
seven movies. And now I just need to fill that out in my gridded response page. So here's that. My answer is seven. I write seven in the box. I find my seven bubble and fill it in. And that is that.